What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Uh, thank you for taking this journey with me on the Millionaire Morning Show and the Anton Daniels channel. And don't do coke in the bathroom and Fight Club and the Lapeef Network. We've done some awesome things in 2022 and I'm looking forward to 2023, but it wasn't without its bumps and bruises and its roller coaster ride and all of the different things that came along with it. But before we get into the show, uh, make sure that you hit a like for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel, and then turn on your notifications. I'm on my way to the office. Uh, it is Wednesday the 28th, I believe, and then tomorrow we take a flight over into Miami because we got the Patreon uh, meetup on the rooftop on New Year's Eve, and that's going to be absolutely awesome. So if you're a bag chaser and you're going to be in the Miami area, make sure you tap into that video on the Patreon so you can get more details and better understand exactly what it is that we're doing. Uh, on New Year's Eve, as well as checking out all of the content, the uncensored interviews, the game. Um, we got a lot of things coming up, including uh, investing your business, where I, I literally like to give seed money and I fund my Patreon members initiatives as far as what it is that they're trying to do uh, from a business perspective. We got the build the business, we got the mastermind sessions. So if you're not a bag chaser, make sure you uh, tap into the Patreon. The link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. But 2022 was a wild year. I'm very, very glad to see it go because uh, I had a lot of successes, a lot of ups, uh, some downs, and then some really, really sad moments. One of the biggest sad moments for me specifically was the death of Kevin Samuels. Now, Kevin, Kevin Samuels and I had a really, really great relationship, uh, and he had a great relationship with a lot of different people. Uh, it bothered me to my core, to my soul, to where I actually shed a tear uh, when he passed away because uh, he was so meaningful and he had so much room uh, and runway to be able to do some great things that would have, in my opinion, transformed the lives of a lot of different people. So I don't like to see um, when stuff to like, like that happens, but I don't question God either because I am more of a person that believes in faith than I do uh, in choice. I believe that we have a perception of choice. Uh, which allows for us to be able to operate in this human head of ours thinking that we're really doing something. But in reality, I think that all of our lives are planned uh, and pre-planned before we even existed on this earth. So just chess pieces on a chessboard, and that's just life. But uh, for the sake of conversation, uh, it did bother me. And another thing that bothers me as a result of 2022 was all of the pages that popped up uh, benefiting, profiting, and not giving credit to uh, Kevin Samuels. There are a lot of fake pages and I was uh, uh, observing and having a conversation with several people and then looking at uh, the different perspectives of a lot of different people, including O'Shea Duke Jackson, who has brought light to this issue. Um, I have reached out to and talked to um, some people within his uh, Kevin Samuels uh, inner circle, uh, working very, very much with uh, different people surrounding the family and the family and his daughter does not get any of that money. That's the problem, right? I don't like when people don't do good business, right? I don't. I don't like when people don't get permission to be able to use original content. Uh, I was talking to Jeff. Jeff was his best friend also. Um, and Jeff um, worked very, very much with the family in order to ensure that all of Kevin Kevin's content, his videos was archived, copyrighted, and so on and so forth. But the problem with the internet is that you still got to fight the internet, meaning that you still have a lot of people that are able to circumvent the process, hurry up and monetize, and even if we do get their videos taken down, uh, they probably still profited a significant amount of money off of work that's not theirs. Now, some people, and I've read some of the people in the comments of some of these videos, including O'Shea Duke Jackson's comments, and they say, well, you know, I'm on the fence about it because, you know, we should just keep Kevin's name alive and I'm glad that somebody is at least putting the content out or whatever. The content is already out. The content still exists on Kevin's channel and that is the pathway to be able to at least view it in its original in its original context as Kevin wanted it to be viewed because that's the way he created it. And then in addition to that, his family is the ones that, that, that can then benefit as a result of the content that's put out. So support the original creator. And as a content creator, outside of being one of his good friends, as a content creator, um, it baffles me or it bothers me that if I ever get to a point to where I am like significantly successful, because 
yeah, I got a couple hundred thousand plaques and I'm doing really well and my channels are growing and all of that other type of stuff. But let's just say hypothetically one day in a, in a, in a far future that I hit a half a million subscribers or I hit a million subscribers, right? And, you know, death is a part of life. So eventually we all have an expiration date. Hopefully mine's is later uh, <laughs> than 10 years from now. But let's just say hypothetically for the sake of conversation that that happens, right? You telling me that my wife and my daughter um, and the people that I surround myself with are not the ones that's going to be the biggest beneficiaries of what it is that I've created and I worked so hard for for all of these years and decades and putting this time in. You telling me that somebody will just be able to come through and then abuse uh, what it is that we see happening on the Internet in order to be able to profit off of the content that I put out and the brand that I built and all of the money that I invested and all of the time that I separated myself from my family in order to ensure that I'm putting out this great content for you guys only to see other people pill for it, steal it, and then profit from it without any kind of insight and information from the family? That's not. We need to start treating content the same way that they treat uh, the same way that they treat, you know, Marvin Gaye's family treats his, his catalog. And, you know, we, we shouldn't have this happening within the black community. Now, I'm not sure that this happens. I've never seen this happen uh, anywhere else. But then again, I didn't have any close friends in the content creation community that were as big as Kev that didn't look like me. Meaning that it's always something with the black community. And I'm not even sure that the person that is PILF or the people, because it's multiple different channels. I'm not even sure if the people that are pilfering Kevin's content, because who knows? You know what I'm saying? People was finessing no matter what. Not sure if the people finessing Kevin's content is black or white or Asian, whatever. We don't know who these people are. But we know that these channels pop up, they steal these videos, and then they be able to profit off of it and get all of these views. And then other people, I don't understand why people support it and watch it and act like it's not stealing and people just still, like, they support it. That's the problem that I have with counterfeiting and now, all of that, I believe to give credit to the original creator, and I'm on that job. Like, I, I have my business um, situated. You steal my stuff, and I, there's a lot of different people that want to reach out to me now and saying, oh, man, Anton, uh, I didn't know. I'm a new content creator. I didn't know I couldn't just take your videos and put them up in their entirety and then profit off of it and then not have to pay homage or pay dues. They ain't doing no reaction videos and none of that. They're just straight up stealing content and putting it up as though it's theirs and profiting and benefiting off of it and getting subscribers and views and financially successful as a result of it with no kind of permission or nothing. They don't understand copyright. What you think you could just go on the internet and do that? No, so I'm fierce about mines. But that is, that was one of the problems, that's one of the biggest problems that I have going into 2023 is that I don't like the idea that people can just come by and just take your stuff and take your content and benefit off of it financially and then you don't get nothing as a, as a result of it. Even though you don't want to put in the work and invest in all of your cameras and time and money and all of these resources and you trade it in your time for money in order to bring people this content and then people can just come on. I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it, but I miss my dog. I miss my dog. Um, I don't know what I have to do as far as, far as having to allocate time on my schedule to maybe help combat this uh, on his behalf. I'm not, I'm only one person. Um, I can't fight everything, but uh, I certainly think that this is a bad, bad do. And I, again, I miss my dog, but I do feel an obligation to feed into um, or to do the thing that is, that is best for his estate and his daughter. And we're just going to figure it out from there. So... Again, rest in peace to my big dog, Kev. Uh, what you've done and, and the things that you've uh, created does not go unnoticed. I'm um, still keeping your name and your memory alive. I love you. Um, I still appreciate you for every conversation that we had, for the friendship that we built. And um, the things that we did offline, that's the things that was the most meaningful that a lot of people is not even familiar with. Maybe I'll share a story or two sometime in the near future but i love you guys i appreciate you thank you for continuing to rock with me um and i will see you in miami peace